I enjoyed my career as a teacher enormously and was looking forward to retirement, planning to travel in South America, perhaps move to Cornwall, because I've always wanted to live by the sea. But in less than a year, I was struck with terrible chest pains and diagnosed with angina. It stopped me in my tracks and my outlook on life grew darker and darker. I became a different person in a very short space of time. I didn't realise at the time, but my physical illness was dragging me down into depression. so spent. All I've done is shuffle to the loo and back all day. Look at this mess everywhere. Still, nobody sees but me. Can't be bothered. Good long walk with Wilbur is what I need. Four hours over the hills to Whitstone and back. Reckon I'd get as far as the bottom of the stairs. Jean's probably out with him now at Drake's Meadow. Up to his ears in mud, blundering after some poor squirrel. Don't drop round, will you, Jean? Cos I'd really rather sit here on my tod while you're out enjoying my dog. Dear me, I do feel grim today. You've a real talent for misery, haven't you, dear? Can't resist a twist of the knife. This angina, though, got to laugh. Mind you, that's a bit risky for me too nowadays. What was I dreaming about last night that set it off? I was back at the university and some sort of student show. A strange version of Guys and Dolls. <laughs> sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down, you're rocking the boat. I had such a clear voice in my dream. My chest was ringing like a bell. I had that lovely feeling you get when you sing in a big crowd. And your whole body rings. I was singing and kicking my legs. <laughs> Red tights I was wearing. I could feel the boys in the front row looking at my legs. And I was kicking them higher and higher. Sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down. Sit down, you're rocking the boat. Funny to think of it. There was actually a time when I liked being looked at. I hate it now though, of course. People dancing with that awful mixture of pity and disgust. I'm disgusting. I am old. I should cover the mirrors. Crawl under a stone. Is it time for bed yet? And so it went on for months. Then finally, when I told my GP how miserable I felt, he referred me to a psychologist. I was extremely embarrassed at the time. It confirmed to the world that I had some sort of mental problem. 
I didn't want any of my acquaintances to know. Deep down, I was rather scared of the treatment too. The psychologist specialised in something called behavioural activation. The idea, I gathered, was to help people get back to doing things they'd given up. The psychologist, Sarah she was called, helped me plan some activities back into my diary. One of the first was to walk to the local shops, which I hadn't done for a couple of months. It's easy for her to talk. How on earth can she expect me to walk to the shops and back when I feel so exhausted all the time? Surely I should be resting. And the GP's just as bad backing her up. He must be all of 30. Light years he is from understanding how his patients actually feel. Try being me for a day, Sonny. You'd be dead on your feet. Suppose they mean well. Not suggesting it for their benefit, are they? I've put on quite a lot of weight. But honestly, what's the point? There won't be anything at the shops I really want. Just more rubbish I shouldn't have anyway. Biscuits. Then I won't be able to stop eating them and I'll hate myself. And what if I get halfway there and have a heart attack? Or what if I fall and break my leg? Or someone tries to take my bag? Or somebody points at me and laughs? Or I drop my money and can't pick it up and everyone ignores me? Come on, Dot. You're not going to outer space. You're going to the co-op. If something goes wrong, just ask for help. The world's full of nice people. You've probably taught half of them at some point. What is the worst that can happen? You've got your tablets and your spray. You've got your mobile phone. Right. Can't put it off any longer, Dot. Just open the door and put one foot in front of another. That's right. Just walk. Walk. So I walked. And that was the beginning. It took me a while to embrace the joys of behavioural activation. But my confidence and my fitness grew week by week. And I started to feel much more cheerful too. Then one day, I went for a gentle walk with Jean and Wilbur. Glorious. I can feel my face drinking up the sunshine. The wind's like a knife. But the smell of it. What a mixture. Cow muck and cut grass and the sea. It's so clear. It had to be Drake's Meadow. It couldn't have been anywhere else. Thank goodness I insisted. I can see 20 miles to the east, I'm sure. And the primroses, carpets of them. I don't think I've ever seen Wilbur crash about like such a lunatic. Kate to the eyeballs he is. I'd forgotten what a joy it is to scrooge about in your wellies. The look on Jean's face, priceless, like she thinks I'm going to drop down dead any minute. Must be careful, I know, but it's just so... Glorious is the only right word. Glorious. 
Before I finished my appointments with Sarah, we hatched a plan for me to try something again that I hadn't done since I was at school. And I don't mean hockey. I'd begun to develop great faith in what I could do with Sarah's encouragement. But on the day, I began to wonder whether I hadn't bitten off more than I could chew. Come on, don't. You're a big girl now. I must be the oldest person here by 20 years. What a stupid idea to come. And I'm completely overdressed. I feel like a walking Bedouin tent. Look at me. Nobody else here is on their own. Johnny No Mates, that's me as usual. Wish we could start soon. I can feel the sweat running down my back. I'll never be able to do this anymore. I'm far too old. And what if we have to stand? I can't possibly stand for two hours. My legs feel like lead already. Something's happening. That girl's face rings a bell. I think I used to teach her in the 80s. What's her name? Debbie Prendergast, that was her name. Naughty girl. Debbie Prendergast is in charge? Now she's starting to look a bit wrinkly. Well, I feel about 103. Oh, I'll attach myself to this lot here. I shouldn't have had that hummus for lunch. My breath smells horribly of garlic. Why is it all so hard? At my age, don't I deserve a few easy moments of happiness at last? When are we going to start? Thank you.